about spiritual people we're not talking about religious we, we're talking about these spiritual people when i think about spiritual people i think about somebody who has evolved higher they're on a higher level than the average person on the street because they they practice meditation, they know how to to control their breathing and and then they got control. They they understand the higher and, and lower vibrations and, and the chakras and all this fancy talk they do. So I talk. Matter of fact, this morning I I've talked to spiritual people. When you think about spiritual people, you think about folks, you know. Brother, you don't understand the closeness to the ancestors, my brother. No, no, no. Sham, shamalaka lama, humma haya. Look into the universe. Look into the universe. The moon circle around Jupiter and the earth and the water reaches up into the atmosphere and these fifth dimensions opens up. I'm leaving my body. I'm leaving my body. I'm astral projecting into the next fifth dimension. You don't understand, my brother, because you don't know how to control your chakra. You understand your law and your higher vibration <laughs> and the thing about it is if you don't believe what they're talking about the negro that's who they really are it will come out all that vibration chakra and love and peace stuff, they start calling you all out your name and hope your mama dead. <laughs> they just Negroes. But I thought you was on a higher vibration. Ooh, ooh, la la la, shoo la la la, la. <laughs> he, he, he your spiritual ass is a joke. Ain't nothing spiritual about you. It's a damn lie. <clears throat> You're still a Negro. You have not evolved higher. You have not grown at all. It's a front. The closest you're going to really get to spirituality is probably meditation. And you have some people who have really learned how to control the emotion. They have really learned how to balance the inner, the inner conscious, whatever you want to call it. They do not act like these people here. They don't. But it's nothing spiritual. 
it's about it's about just being able to control your emotions your conscience being able to understand your body these persons have no idea this is all a joke Again, spirituality has its roots in worship of the dead. So they are afraid to die. They don't want to hear, they don't want to talk about, oh, you're going to die, and that's the end. They don't, no, no, no. They, they don't want to hear that. They can't die. Here we are, human beings. The most destructive, violent life form on the planet. And you can't die. Now you're a fool. You're an idiot. You're stupid. You're selfish and you're arrogant. What make you think you're going to be any better because you die? and go to another realm some damn way. You was a fool on a material level and you are a damn fool on a spiritual level. What's gonna change about you? You was an alcoholic in this life and if you go to another life, you're still gonna be a damn alcoholic. What's gonna change you? Is there uh, alcoholics an anonymous in the spiritual world you can go to you still the same you as a murderer you as a rapist you are a liar and a slanderer in the material world what's going to make you any different on the other side you was destructive here you will be destructive and nasty wherever your happy ass go Spirituality make people feel good. You didn't control and don't know nothing about your higher vibration or your lower vibration and your chakras. You don't know nothing about that right now, and you're not going to know nothing about that in the spiritual, in the other world. It's all lies that they want us to believe. Lies that some ancient illiterate people see this is what we have to understand. These are beliefs from ancient illiterate people who were afraid to die. They made up, they made up stories for the things they did not understand. And this is the thing about your brain. Woo! This is the thing about our brain. I will give you an example. Before there was VHS tapes, before there was DVDs, DVRs, whatever you want to call them. If you wanted to watch a, a certain old television program, you had to wait a long time. And one of the television stations they would decide, I'm going to bring back a certain show. I wanted to see the old Batman show, the 1960 Batman show. Really, really bad. I wanted to see that show. They wouldn't play it on TV. And I kept thinking about that. That's all. I want to see Batman. Adam West and Burt Ward. I want to see da -na 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 Batman. Da -na -na. I want to see that show. I kept thinking about that show so much. I went to sleep. And don't you know, 
I had a dream and the dream was like it was real. I, I saw myself turn on the TV and the Batman show played just like it was really played on TV in real life. Wow. Commercials and all. Commercials and all. I watched Batman, the 30, a 30 minute show from beginning to end. Some of us, some of us lustful people, <laughs> we're, we're full of lust. You can think about a woman, think about her long enough, and she will appear in, in your dreams. Y'all have a good time because you're programming your brain for that. Now, some of us, we get carried away because this can take us to a place where we think is reality. And next thing you know, I'm on here. I called Terry Ellis uh, last night and Terry told me to come to her house. That's not real. Then you cross the line into insanity. It's more than a dream. Now you want it. Now your brain is making you think that it's real. And you start to cross the line. But in your mind, it is real. You can't, nobody can't tell you that it's not real. It is, it's real to you. You force your brain, you cause your brain to fulfill your dream. That's what you do. That's what you've done. I wish I could keep remember those lottery numbers when I won the lottery and some of these dreams. <laughs> I won the lottery. I couldn't remember those numbers to save my life. If you fill your head with Jesus and Muhammad, if you really think that you can astral project out your body and there's other realms, you just keep thinking about those things. Our brain will make that for us. And it is real for you. I would never see it. Well, you know, you know, twin. Me and Terry got married. We've been married for the last few days. Twin look at me like, what? Because he won't be able to see. And there's nothing in reality that can verify. But in my mind, it's real. We got married. We've been married for the last couple of days. And it is real. Only to me. My brain my brain wanted to satisfy something inside of myself and it gave it to me. You want to be married to Terry Ellis? I will make that real for you. So in my brain, in my mind, we are married. But in the real world, I can't prove it to Twin Pyramid. Twin Pyramid says, show me the papers. Oh, I got the paper somewhere. We can get the papers. The papers never do show up. It is real. And as always in parting, we wish you... Come on and jam with us next week on these same stations. And you can bet the last money. It's all going to be a stone gas, honey. I'm Don Cornelius, and as always, in parting, we wish you love.